would like to introduce the Legion Riders with the presentation of colors. Please stand. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You just mowed. gun salute in that general area over there.
Thank you, Mayor, Estancia Mayor Nathan Dial and the Legion Riders for that presentation. Next up, we will have our invocation by Pastor Joseph Snodgrass of the Mount Air First Assembly. Would you join me in prayer? Almighty God, Heavenly Father, Creator of all, Sustainer of all, Hope of all, we have gathered today beneath your watchful eye to celebrate the dedication of this, the Stephen A. Sandlin Memorial Police Station. We thank you for what this building symbolizes in our community as a center of law and order. May this station always be a beacon of light, of truth, and justice, even in the darkest of hours. May those who enter herein, whether freely or by compulsion, know that they will be dealt with fairly but uncompromisingly according to the laws of our land. From here, let the light of justice shine into our community letting all who would seek to subvert that justice fear and tremble, and all who would seek to live uprightly rejoice and be glad. As we dedicate this property, we give every brick, 
and every beam into your strong hand, asking for your divine blessing and protection. We also ask that you would defend this house of justice from harm, whether natural or caused by villainous hand, and allow it to function and prosper as intended. O Lord, we pray not only for the physical building, but also for the men and women who will work and serve within its walls and in our community as representatives of the law and righteousness. We pray for Chief Reyes and his officers that they will faithfully enforce their calling that you have given them to put down lawlessness, to, to secure safety and protection for the citizens of our community, and to be the front line of defense against wickedness. We ask that you keep them safe, that you keep them sharp, and that you keep them strong. May they turn to you for strength and wisdom daily and recognize you as their source and supply. We also ask for your blessing and protection to be upon those who may serve here in administrative and other capacities. And finally, we ask that all that is said and done in this place would be for your glory and honor. Without you, there is no law. Without you, there is no justice. And without you, there is no peace. May those who serve here understand that they serve you. May those who come here to face justice realize that ultimately they answer to you. And may those who pass by these grounds remember that it is you who stands watch over all. And in closing, Lord, I would pray that if any of these fine officers ever catch me going just a tad bit over the speed limit, you would remind them of one word, and that's mercy. And we thank you for these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor Joseph Snodgrass from Mount Air's First Assembly Church. You may be seated. I want to explain how we got to this day. Less than a month after I took office as mayor, a fire engulfed our police station. After everything had settled down and we began to discuss the future of the police station, I sat down with town clerk Dennis Fulfer and we began brainstorming on how we could turn that horrible situation into one of hope. That's where the idea of the Stephen A. Sandlin Memorial Police Station was born. On May 7, 1988, tragedy struck the town of Mount Air. I was less than two years old at the time. However, growing up in Mount Air, it was a story that was often told. Stephen was a wonderful public servant, just starting out on this venture called life. A new child, a new job, a young man only 21 years old and had everything going for him. And then a day that I know we all wish we, that would have never happened. A horrible tragedy that would alter a town, a family, and many lives. While we were discussing the future of the department, we knew we wanted to keep Stephen's memory alive. I had a vision for the police department when I was elected mayor, but that vision began to morph while I learned more about Stephen. You see, Stephen wanted to do his part to help this beautiful town, and the vision I had for the police department began to be modeled after Stephen A. Sandlin. We would integrate his qualities into our department, a high standard of respect, of integrity, of kindness, and one that had a very clear goal of helping the town of Mountain Air and its residents. This building behind me here today, inside and out, has been months and months of hard work. We are still adding additional changes and upgrades in the coming months to perfect it even more. As everyone knows, the weather in New Mexico is a little unpredictable, preventing some of the upgrades to be completed. However, I assure you that additional upgrades made this summer, including the installation of bulletproof glass and increased security features, will make this building even more incredible. I want to make sure when this building is complete, it is one that Stephen and his family would be proud of. Where we are today would not be possible with the many individuals that helped make this vision a reality. The Mountain Air Town Council, a council that immediately gravitated towards this idea and did whatever they could to get this station re renovated. 
the police department, which has made massive leaps in recent months to become a department that has been working together with the Torrance County Sheriff's Department and the New Mexico State Police to protect and serve. The growth of this department continues to amaze me. I would like to personally thank each member of our police department, including our chief, Juan Reyes, for being part of this transformation that has seen incredible growth. The Stephen A. Sandlin Memorial Police Station will have features that will give both Torrance County Sheriff's deputies and New Mexico State Police officers a place to work when they are in Mountain Air, further increasing teamwork and cooperation between the three departments. I want to thank the family of Stephen who have joined us here today. This coming Tuesday will be 31 years since the passing of Stephen. To many in attendance here, I'm sure it does not quite seem like it was that long ago. And to his family, I'm sure like it seems like it was just yesterday. I cannot imagine the heartbreak you experienced on that day and the days since. Your son, your father, your brother gave his life for this town. The town owes you this station so that his memory will live on forever. I ask everyone in attendance today to do what we can, including praying, to bring closure to this family. The town of Mountain Air, the county of Torrance, and the state of New Mexico owe you, the family of Stephen, closure. I continue to hope and pray that it will be brought to you sooner rather than later. I like to think that Stephen is looking down on us today knowing that we want him to be a wonderful memory in Mountain Air, even long after any of us are even here. Today we have uh, assembled a wonderful group of individuals from many high-ranking offices from around the state who would like to say a few words. I want to thank each of them for joining us here today. Please give a warm welcome to each of them as I introduce them to speak. We will start off with Department of Public Safety Cabinet Secretary and Representative from Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham's office, Mr. Mark Shea. Thank you, Mayor, for uh, that introduction. Uh, first of all, uh, it's a very big honor for me to be here today to, to honor Stephen. Uh, it is uh, with great sadness uh, that we, we lost one of our uh, finest and fallen heroes. But um, in doing so, uh, I would like to bring you a, a few words from our governor. It's unfortunate, she said, uh, that she was unable to be here, as you might well imagine, uh, her time is, is stretched between many tasks, but in her absence, she wanted me to give you a message. And, she, and the, the governor sincerely regrets that she was unable to attend the dedication, dedication of the Mountain Air Police Station as the Stephen A. Sandlin Memorial Police Station. She would like to reach out to Officer Sandlin's family and the citizens of Mountain Air with her thanks for the ultimate sacrifice Officer Sandlin made by choosing the profession of law enforcement and placing the lives and safety of his community ahead of his own. In law enforcement, when speaking about our fallen officers, we often quote a verse from the Bible, John 15, 13. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. The Lord's words truly embody Stephen A. Sandlin's commitment to his faith, his family, and his community. It will be 31 years ago in, on May 7, 2019, that we lost Officer Sandlin. Although time has passed, our sorrow for his loss continues to be on our minds and in our hearts. It is fitting that we come together today to dedicate the Mountain Air Police Station as the Stephen A. Sandlin Memorial Police Station to honor the memory of Officer Sandlin. We will never forget him or his sacrifice. He will always be our hero. Thank you. from Senator Martin Heinrich's office.
in making this possible today. Um, when I told the senator um, you know, that he was invited to this, uh, he was very disappointed that he wasn't going to be able to be here, but he did ask that I bring a flag, and so I wanted to um, present that flag to Mayor Nieto. The significance of this flag is that it was flown over the United States Capitol, and um, I just wanted to present it today uh, on behalf of the senator. Um, do with it as you like. If, uh, if you want to fly it over uh, to the police station, that would be fantastic. And, uh, just thank you very, very much. And, and again, to the family, our deepest condolences, and um, thank you so much for, for your sacrifice. And yes, that will fly over the Stephen A. Sandler Memorial Police Station. Next, we have a representative from Congresswoman Deb Holland's office, Mr. Greg Seeley. Uh, thank you, Mayor Nieto, uh, for the invitation. <clears throat> Please bear with me. I've been losing my voice the last couple of days. Um, I'm, I'm very grateful for the invitation, Mayor, Chief, and especially the family of Officer Sandlin. Thank you so much you honor us for the invitation to join you today to remember him. I have a few words from the Congresswoman. She had a uh, dedication that uh, we would be honored to uh, keep here in this, uh, uh, <clears throat> in this police station. She can't be with us today. She's in DC, but she said, I spoke to her yesterday, she said specifically, Please pass on my love and prayers to the family. <clears throat> All right. Um, to the members of the Mountain Air Police Department, on the occasion of the dedication of the Stephen A. Sandlin Memorial Police Station, I want to express my sincere appreciation for every single brave officer who has stepped forward to protect this community. The choice to take this step and put your life on the line to protect the precious lives of this community is made by only a few. But you few have earned an honor uniquely yours as the guardians of your fellow citizens of Mountain Air. Officer Stephen A. Sandlin answered the call to service and made it his mission to protect and serve his community just as his father had before him. As you honor him today, through the dedication of this station and in the years to come as it stands alongside his memorial may his family his friends the citizens of mountain air and those few who serve here read this and keep close to your heart the memory of this courageous fallen officer this station will honor the memory of Officer Stephen A. Sandlin with each new day, with each new shift, and each new call. As you few carry on the mission of the Mountain Air Police Department to provide service with understanding, response with compassion, performance with integrity, and law enforcement with vision, let us all be grateful that the legacy of this hero lives on in the heart of New Mexico. Respectfully, Deborah A. Holland, U.S. House of Representatives. Representative from the Attorney General Hector Balderas' office, Mr. Greg Bull. Good afternoon. The Attorney General's office not forgotten about this fine man. And since the world began, there have been those who would serve people who are willing and eager to go through the valley of the shadows. For those they may have never even met. In the end, it matters whether the rest of us understand and appreciate those like Stephen Sanders. 
and I've been asked by the Attorney General to present a letter to him uh, for you, sir, and it's for the town. We're very grateful to be here, and we are part to keep Stephen's memory alive. New Mexico State Senate District 39 Representative Ms. Stefanics. Thank you, Mayor. And I would like to thank you all for the honor of being invited today for this dedication. To the town council, thank you so much for doing this dedication, for not only upgrading the building, but remembering the individual that has served your community. He should have been here a lot longer. And to the family, thank you very much for coming and sharing the day. To every person who is in public safety, thank you for your service to your community, to your country, to our state. This is what we need. Individuals who will protect us. Individuals who will be there for us in time of need. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be here for your dedication. Thank you so much. New Mexico House District 50 Representative, Mr. Matthew McQueen. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, so 31 years ago, I was a high school kid in California. Uh, so I wasn't, you know, I wasn't aware of the loss of Officer Sandlin. Um, I didn't feel its impact. Of course, a lot can change in 30 years. Uh, one thing that hasn't changed, however, is that law enforcement's a dangerous job. Uh, we ask our officers to put themselves uh, in harm's way to protect us. And Officer Sandlin did that. Uh, and I think dedicating this, this building in his name is uh, a fitting memorial, not only uh, to Officer Sandlin, but also as a reminder to the rest of us that the rest of our, our officers uh, face these dangers every day. So I'd like to thank you all for coming out today. I'd especially like to thank the family of Officer Sandlin for letting me participate in this uh, in this report. Thank you. District Commander for the New Mexico State Police, Captain Isaac Valerio. <laughs> to the family and friends and the community that are gathered here today in this honor and ominous day of dedication to Officer Stephen Sandman, from the men and women of the New Mexico State Police we sincerely give you thanks for your sacrifice to Officer Sandlin. You are not forgotten. May God bless you. We are proud and humbled today to be gathered here today to partner with the town of Mountain Air and the police department and the community. In line with community policing, we support this town, the community, and the police department to move forward in the right direction. Stephen Sandman, you are not forgotten. God bless you, my friend. Thank you. Torrance County District 3 Commissioner, Mr. Javier Sanchez. Thank you, Mayor Nieto. It's an honor to, to be here today. I remember in school we had a program called uh, Character Counts. And one of, the, one of the, the aspects was citizenship. And it seems, it seems to me that citizenship is composed of two things, duties and opportunities. So it's our duty to, to follow the law, to pay our taxes, to defend the nation when necessary, but there are also a set of opportunities. 
and many choose to dedicate their lives to service, public service. And it is unfortunate that oftentimes the ultimate expression of citizenship requires the ultimate sacrifice. May we forever honor and never forget the sacrifice of Officer Sam. Torrance County Sheriff, Mr. Martin Rivera. And I'll start off by telling you guys that I'm the probably the worst public speaker ever. Um, but anyway, I, I want to give my sincerest thanks to the family because they have gone through all the sacrifice in this. It's been 30 years. I'm sure it's been a, a long, hard 30 years for you all. Um, as law enforcement, <coughs> We come in and we know that we are going to, at some point, be asked to give our life, put our life in danger for everyone. And Mr. Sandlin did that, gave, gave the ultimate sacrifice. And uh, again, thank you to Mount Air for coming out to, and, and everybody that's here to, to uh, come out and honor Stephen Sandlin. And again, thank you uh, to the family. It's, it's completely sincere. I, I know what, what it must have been like for all those 30 years. Thank you. At this time, if anyone from the family of Stephen Sandlin would like to say anything, we would welcome you up here at this time. The second uh, worst speaker it is. So, but while I'm here, I would like to announce my candidate for fly catcher. If y'all will vote for me, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> May the 7th, 1988. It changed uh, our entire uh, life, the family. But it was a lot of storm clouds that gathered around. But the great town of Mountaineer, the mayor, and the citizens of Mountaineer, and the citizens of Torrance County has smoothed that road for the family. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. And all of you are family to me. That's what you mean to me. Thank you. And Stephen would be happy, even though the situation for him is dire. But I love all of you, and thank you. Police Chief, Mr. Juan Reyes. Good afternoon. Thank you. Can you all hear me now? Okay. Well, after all these great speeches, they took the thunder out of my speech that I was going to give you. <laughs> but needless to say, we are honored to have Tom, Yvonne, Robert, and the family to be here on this special day. It means a lot to us. I came across the Sandin family many, many years ago. We're all ex-APD officers. That's where we came from. But this particular case was a cold case. And I had the honor to work DA investigator in attempting to solve this homicide. Through our efforts, we were given the opportunity by the Department of Justice to bring closure to the Sandlin family. There was many allegations and 
many things that were said about this. And through the efforts of the DOJ, Office of Medical Investigator, and my efforts that I did this three, I didn't charge overtime, I did it, because this was special. We were able to prove that Officer Sandler gave his life. Everything that we have done today lives in your hearts forever. You're our family here. You're welcome here anytime, any place. We will always be here for you. I'd like to give thanks to our town council for putting this together and knowing and remembering this brave young man who served this community. What I'm going to do is I call each officer that is here. I would like you to stand up and be acknowledged. Starting with the Mountain Air Police Department, <laughs> Officer Milton Torres. <laughs> Officer Walter Barrett. Officer Matthew Martinez. Thank <laughs> you, Officer Stephen Bernauer. New Mexico State Police, Captain Isaac Valera. Lieutenant Chan Pierce. Stepping in for Lieutenant uh, Raul Rudy Brown. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to Jonathan Reyes, the Allen Portal Division. Officer Kevin, I hope I, I guess. I hope I spelled it right. Officer David Allen. Border Patrol Agent Tessa Reyes. <laughs> so that sounds familiar. That's my son and daughter. <laughs> Orange County Sheriff Marty Rivera. <laughs> Under Sheriff Chris <laughs> AG Special Agents Greg Bio, Alex Bergman. <laughs> Retired guys, I didn't forget about you. Dick Ness, Lieutenant Albuquerque Police, Dave Ashley, Albuquerque Police. As you noted, we brought some motorcycle guys. Blue Knights, also retired officers. President Angel Barkley. dignitaries that have came here, all the representation of the public, and all these officers and their families. These are the guys that when you call, we will be there. Thank you. This time I'd like to present the flag. Officer Lyric, where is he at? Lyric?
technical difficulties here. We were going to have the Torrance County uh, Dispatch Center do our last dispatch call to Officer Stephen Salem, 104. Thank you very much. At this time, those of you that um, are going to be part of the ribbon cutting, if you can please join us up here. And the idea behind this is everyone that's up here, um, we're going to count the ribbon on the three, two, one, and then we'll cut. And each of you will get to keep um, the part that you cut as a little memento for the day. Thank you for joining us here today. Please take all the photos you want. And thank you so much. And this is in memory of Mr. Stephen A. Samlin. Thank you so much. God bless you all.